Hello everybody! In this video we're going to be covering how to use an OCR utility, an optical character recognition utility, as well as demonstrating how the same, uh, the same utility can be used to compress our file to remove the file size. Okay, I have this document called uh, the, it, it, it's part of a book called King's, King Solomon's Minds, King Solomon's Minds by uh, Ryder Haggard, a great book. I, I, I really recommend it. Um, but anyway, this, this book has no textual overlay. It has no text data. Um, f for us as humans, we're able to look at this and we're able to see that there is text on the screen, but the computer uh, does not recognize any of this information as being textual data. For a computer, this is only image data. These are simply a series of images that are put together and uh, um, uh, stored in the PDF format. So in order to turn this into or to extract the textual data, I am going to use a utility known as OCR My PDF. OCR My PDF. And if we take a look at the help, the help page for that, let's go ahead and take a look here. OCR My PDF. So it's a it, it it's a very it's it it's a very powerful utility it has a lot of different options you can create it you can create highly customized approaches to um, performing the OCR process as well as compressing the data so with that in mind we're going to do two things one of them is to OCR this document and we're also going to compress so you see this optimize optimize uh, the data and so we're going to use the dash o flag with a number two and this will reduce the file size okay so let me clear the screen and let's use the ls command followed by lh to see what files we have we see that we have this document all in all caps kings or King Solomon's Minds PDF, and you see the file size is 4.3 megabytes. 4.3 megabytes, and we want to both uh, uh, run that file through the OCR process as well as um, optimize the data. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. OCR my PDF using the dash o command with a two uh, with a setting of two which will optimize it more we then uh, hand it all caps king solomon's minds and the file that we will be writing to is ksm.pdf ksm.pdf so here we go So you see it's taking a little bit of time. Not too bad though, it does take more time with larger files. All right, so it performed the OCR process and now it is uh, optimizing the data. and should be done in just a little bit. We need elevator music right here. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know that melody. <laughs> All right, so let's clear the data and let's take a look. Let's use the LH command and we see we have KSM. So look at the file difference between uh, capital K, uh, King Solomon's Mines, so all, all caps King Solomon's Mines, and then the KSM file. So technically those are both the same, they will look the same, but notice that, that KSM is, is half the file size, half the file size, so that shows you the power of using, um, using optimi optimization. So let me go ahead and take a look at those files over here. So if you remember, King Solomon's Mines was not searchable. If I open up ksm.pdf, yeah, fit it to the 
fit it to the width. And there we go. So now I can select, I can select the text. Copy, control C, and then run over to LibreOffice doc and paste that information. Look at that. So you see that that information has now been turned into textual data that can be copied, pasted, searched for. For instance, I go back over to this document and using control F to search the document, I can search for Haggard. And it gives me the locations of Haggard. Haggard. There we go. So that is a demonstration of how to use an OCR utility as well as compressing the data. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.